Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of B is for Build. So as you guys know, the 240Z is a SEMA car and some stuff came up and we need to solidify our spot for SEMA. And to do that, we need to send a rendering of what the car is supposed to look like. So it means I gotta figure out what color it's gonna be, what wheels we're gonna run, the rest of the body kit stuff, all sorts of that stuff we're gonna figure out today. We're gonna do that all in 3D space and then we're gonna render out one nice little rendering, which you've probably already seen in the thumbnail, um, and, and, and send that off and that'll secure our space for SEMA. So we're gonna jump into the computer, get started. Stay tuned. So what SEMA is, if anybody doesn't know, it's kind of a, it's like an aftermarket parts, automotive parts convention, kind of. It's a massive, massive thing. There's a gajillion cars there because all of the parts manufacturers and stuff like that want to showcase their parts on different cars. So you bring your car showcasing their products. Um, what we're doing is no different. We're working in partnership with Koenig. You guys know about Koenig wheels. I'll put a link in the description. They make fantastic products. We have them on pretty much all of our builds. And this build is going to be no different. And we're going to be bringing this car to SEMA to showcase a set of Koenig wheels, which is really awesome. It's a cool partnership. They're really, really hooking us up as well because um, if you don't happen to know, going to SEMA on your own, like if Bs for Build wanted to do a booth, first of all, I don't think we even could. Uh, second of all, it costs one gajillion dollars. Um, so it, it, it's really awesome that we can work with this partnership there. And when, when I'm there, you know, if any of you guys happen to be there, we're gonna do like a signing and all sorts of other cool stuff um, in relationship with that. But the goal right now is to get the car to SEMA. So we have a sweet set of Koenig wheels that I'm going to show you on this car. It's going to be one of the first things that we do because um, I, I want to look at them and get them placed in here correctly and stuff like that. But I think we've picked out a set of wheels that has the right balance of looking a little bit retro for the 240Z, but also looking modern and not being too like overpowering. So let's jump into that very first. I got the wheel model. This is an actual 3D model from Koenig. I got the wheel model into the program. Let's go ahead and throw those wheels on all the tires all around the vehicle. Okay, so this is our base model here, what you're seeing, and uh, it's giving away some of the things that we're gonna do right away. <laughs> our wheel selection and our wide body kit selection. So you're seeing the, uh, this is the Rocket Bunny wide body kit. Uh, I ordered one of these four months ago. Cost me a lot, a lot of money, way more than the car. Um, and hopefully it'll be here sometime before SEMA. So um, yes, we're gonna go with the Rocket Bunny wide body kit. It's a, it's a several piece kit. It comes with pretty cool, you know, front, front stuffs. Um, obviously the fender flares and the, and the rear uh, spoiler and, and that type of stuff. So that's how, that's how uh, we're going to widen out the car. You have to widen out the car because our actual suspension components and everything are much wider than the vehicle you know, can withstand. Um, and then our wheel selection. So these are the Koenig Hypergrams I was telling you about. These wheels have a really good um, look to them overall. They have a bit of a retro feel to them, I think. Um, we're gonna do a 17 on the front and an 18 on the rear. This is assuming everything fits like we expect it to. Um, so that's what you're seeing here. It's a little bit bigger in the rear than it is in the front. I think it's gonna look beautiful. I think it's gonna look really great. I have I have very high hopes for this this setup. So Koenig has sent me a set of these out. Um, ECS Tuning has uh, got us hooked up with all the different brake calipers and the rotors and everything that we need. So um, we're really gonna be working on making this car a roller in the near future. And that's gonna be one of the first things that we do is make sure that we have all of our, our wheels, our suspension, um, because we also have our airbag suspension is now here, it's now arrived, and our rotors and everything all assembled and getting the car rolling. Okay, so now that we have all that stuff there, it's time to start fiddling with some of the aero stuff. So I'm gonna start um, goofing off with a, a bunch of different things and see how things look. I have no idea what we're gonna build for this car, really, honestly. Things like side skirts, front lip, rear spoiler, those types of things I'm gonna play with right now. We went off and built some uh, some side skirts first. Now these are making the car look a little fatty, like a little bit of a fatty right now. But um, that's the idea. We're gonna we'll you know we're gonna continue on do rear diffuser and front lip stuff. So it'll it'll all kind of um, kind of widen out in in the end. 
Um, but I, I don't know. Well, I'm going to try with these and then we'll obviously like, you know, take a look at it with the, all of this stuff off too later on. But for now, I do like that look of those things. I think they're pretty cool. So, um, hmm, what's next? Front, we'll do a front splitter next. Oh, I also did a windshield wiper delete. Um, there's some technicality problems along the lines of uh, windshield wipers with the BMW M5 powered 240Z thing. Um, so for now, um, drive the car in the summer and use rain -X. That's the game plan. I don't know when we'll ever have windshield wipers again, but it's not going to be in the first round of this build, that's for sure. Okay, front split. Okay, we just finished building a front uh, a front splitter. Uh, so you can see right here, we got two support rods that are gonna have to come from under here, and then from under here, we'll have to do some supports too. It's all custom tube mount front end, or tube construction front end, so that won't be a problem. Um, and then we're gonna do some canards, canards, however you wanna pronounce them, that come off of here. Sorry, this is hard to focus on. Um, that are going to come off of here and come up like this, and they're going to attach to the um, fender flare. Now these are these are supposed to like have a rocket bunny feel to them, but we're going to make them custom. We're going to make them our own. They're not quite as intense as the rocket bunny uh, V3 style for the BRZ. Uh, we're just going to kind of make it our own. But it's definitely this is a rocket bunny kit. You know, this is a rocket bunny 240. So you know, we can definitely use their kind of styling cues that they've you know that they've invented. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm still playing with this. Also, we did a front bumper delete. So the front bumper is going to be gone. That's the next area I'm going to work on cleaning up. I'm going to try some other stuff. But yeah, I'm going to kill that front bumper. I've never been a real big fan of it. Um, and I will, uh, we're going to put, what I'll probably do is put a steel bash bar right inside the uh, fiberglass of this front bumper right here um, for actual protection if we get in a front end wreck. But anyways, that's the front diffuser, or the front splitter. Um, and the canards and so yeah next we're gonna jump into this front bumper and work on the grill and See what it looks like if we take this little nub out of the front bumper here. Right, so you can see we removed that nub from the middle here. There's a little bit of creasing that was shown right there, but that that will uh, when we do when we apply a smoothing group to it, that'll go away. And then we just made the grill a little bit bigger, and I think that's going to look great. Kind of reminds me of what the Aston Martin would look like if it had a grill. Um, we're going to start with that for now, though. I think that'll I actually think that'll look really good. Adding a little bit of fiberglass work in there for me, but we'll make that a little priority in case we're running out of time. So that's it for screwing around with the front for a little bit for me. Um, I want to move on to the back. Maybe we should start playing with uh, looking at wing options. Yeah, wing stuff. So we played around with a couple different wing configurations and I just like with a straight wing or a bent wing and different mounting options, mounting it from the uh, chassis points back here and some other things and I just, I'm not really digging the look of it. I don't like kind of the profile that it brings to the car. Um, at least I don't think it's better than the look of just the ducktail spoiler. So um, I think that for now I'm going to just hide that wing. We can always bring it back later. But for now, I like the car better uh, just like that with no, no big old wing on the back. So I'm going to keep moving on, just keep working on other stuff. And if we want to bring it back, we always can. Um, I need to know in the next few weeks if I'm going to order one, if I want to do one. But for now, I'm thinking no, tentatively. Moving on, uh, let's do some stuff with the rear diffuser. It's a couple hours later, we spent a long time on this, but we got a rear diffuser that I definitely like the look of. The exhaust pipes might be a little large, I'm not totally not sure 
not totally sure what we're doing with the exhaust right now, but they're just kind of placed in there. So this is kind of taking some styling cues from the S13 Rocket Bunny. They have this thing that kind of dives down and then connects up, and then we kind of just made up the, the stuff in the middle. And then that is where our exhaust is going to come out. And we're going to gain this space by cutting the, uh, the this part of the rear bumper uh, out of there. And it should look pretty good. I think it, it looks a little extreme. Now that makes the car look like it might want a wing and not really sure so that's kind of back on the table again but before we do that i know i want window louvers on this car so i'm gonna go ahead and put the window louvers on and then we could see like kind of if that drives the style towards like now you have to have a wing or maybe not maybe with enough of this stuff like that'll be enough i do really like this body line like this um without putting some giant thing on in there for no reason so well wings not for no reason we need that downforce lord knows we're gonna need more grip but um you know so anyways i'm gonna do the window louvers first before i decide if i want to try and re-engineer uh, a wing that i like that looks up better all right we got window louvers on here and they look really good they're definitely staying the wing i i just I can't make up my mind. I'm not really a huge fan right now. I think I think it looks good, like from a side profile, um, with no wing. I think like this looks pretty good, but at the same time, it could use a wing as well. It's a really tough decision, but I think for now, I don't know. Everybody at Siemens got giant wings. I'm not really sure if I need one. Everybody everywhere has one. It's kind of like just a show off piece right now. They do look good though. I love the one on my Aston Martin. Tough. Okay, I've decided for now, no wing. One of the iconic things that I've always liked about this car is when I've seen with the little ducktail spoiler, duck bill spoiler, duck sauce, whatever you want to call it. I'll let you, I'll let you call it what you want. Um, I've always liked the look of that and the spoiler just hides it every time we do anything with it. So screw it. This is it. This is the model. Now, we need to get a good rendering. I told you guys that this is for SEMA. This is like for the approval board to make sure that we get a spot in SEMA. So it needs to look like a picture of a real car, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure. And uh, I'm not, well, I'm not great at 3D modeling, but I'm really not good at trying to get these uh, photorealistic renderings. But we're gonna be using a program called KeyShot. We have to assign the materials to everything. So everything is glass gets glass. Everything is black rubber gets black rubber. Everything that's you know, gloss, paint, whatever. But the cool thing is, is this will allow us to set our paint. So I'm gonna basically uh, smooth a bunch of this stuff out so it's got a ton more polygons. We're gonna export it and then we're gonna bring it into KeyShot and start assigning materials. Come up with two color combinations that I really like, but the basics of it are that I'm I'm digging the gunmetal version of the wheels, um, and we have a gloss black um, diffuser down here, our splitter and diffuser and all that stuff, and, and window louvers, all gloss black as well as our um, mirrors, and then I've been kicking between the teal and the silver. The silver is meant to be the Nissan Super Silver from like the GTR. Some of the guys on the stream actually tipped me off to it, and uh, and I'm liking that. I didn't do a great job representing it here, but I would like to do that, but kind of flattened, um, so not super high gloss. I'd love to be able to do that. So it's either going to be that silver color or that teal color. Teal teal is getting a little played out these days, so I worry about that. But here's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to render both of these images out so we have one of each. Um, it took me a long time to get them placed and, and looking uh, photorealistic, but I do think that these things both look good. So I'm going to hit the render button on both of these and let's see what they look like when they're done. All right, so we just wrapped up with the renders and here's what it looks like in silver. And here's what it looks like in teal. Uh, and like I said, you know, I'm not, I'm not super keen on the teal color, but the silver didn't really turn out great in the render. But I think what I'm still going to submit to SEMA is the silver color. 
And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So this was a really good exercise. This lets us know, well, it's letting you guys know exactly kind of what we're building for the rest of that build. But um, also we're figuring out what parts, you know, we need to be building. And also it tells me about, a lot about what parts I need to make sure I'm ordering. Like, I don't know a good spot to get those like fender um, side mirrors. I know the headlights could be tricky. Um, I definitely want some cool LED headlights to, to make sure that like, you know, the technology is up to date with this build. And um, the other stuff like that so uh, but yeah most of these other aero parts are definitely things that Eric and I can build inside the shop or there are things that we have built before so that's nothing too scary uh, you know the body kits supposedly on its way so that's good um, a lot of stuff's falling into place with this build and and this uh, this design was kind of one of the last things to uh, to um, you know make sure that we we knew what we were doing so uh, leave a comment below which color scheme you guys uh, like best or if there's another color that you'd like to see it in you know I'm kind of partial to, to these colors but I, hey I still got an open mind you never know you might change my mind I might pick a different color that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching if you like BS for Build and you want to help out and support head over to bsforbuild.com uh, during this whole thing we're streaming BS for Build on Twitch so it's uh, twitch.tv slash BS for Build we stream the whole thing it's about nine hours uh, to create this rendering um, so you can always join us on Twitch on there and um, if you want to find us some more places follow us on Instagram we're BS for Build on there all right guys tomorrow it's back to the shop back to the normal schedule and we are cutting up the uh, the Z chassis to get uh, to get that back in the shop. The new, no, not the chassis, but the body. Cutting up the old Z body to get back in the shop. So, look forward to that. See you guys then. Peace! Come on.